You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, I'm going to solve the value of an interior angle that forms part of the civil and environmental engineering section of the FE Exam to kind of give you a better idea of what you might encounter on the exam. This Pass the FE Exam video and question is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. This week's problem was solved by Enrique Ivers, an engineer in training. Enrique, take it away. In this example, we're presented with a problem that you may encounter in the surveying breadth of knowledge of the FE. We're given the interior angles of a triangular traverse and their measurements. Angle A is 63 plus minus 0 0.01 degrees. Angle B is 77 plus minus 0 0.03 degrees. And angle C is 41 plus minus 0 0.02 degrees. We are then asked for the most probable value for angle B and given four choices to choose from. We will have to rely on our knowledge of basic trigonometry to solve this problem. Recall that in a polygon, the sum of angles is equal to quantity n minus 2 times 180 degrees, where n represents the number of angles in the polygon. Thus, a triangle's angles will sum 180 degrees. In this problem, the sum of given angles A, B, and C is 181 degrees. Therefore, negative 1 degree must be divided amongst the three angles. The corrections are proportional to the square of the probable errors. 0 0.01 squared plus 0 0.03 squared plus 0 0.02 squared provides us with 0 0.0014 degrees. Upon reviewing our four choices, we notice that answer A starts with an uncorrected angle of 63 degrees. This corresponds with angle A as it was given to us. However, we're trying to find the probable value of angle B. We can eliminate answer A for this reason. Similarly, answer B starts with an uncorrected angle of 41 degrees. This corresponds with what we're given for angle C, but not angle B. Therefore, we can similarly eliminate answer B. Answers C and D, however, start with an uncorrected angle of 77 degrees. This matches what we are given for the uncorrected angle B. Our calculated correction, 0 0.0014 degrees, is also present in both answers C and D. However, answer C includes an error of plus 1 degree. Our calculated error was negative 1 degree, calculated from 180 degrees minus the sum of angles A, B, and C, 181 degrees. Thus, option D is our correct answer. The uncorrected angle of 77 degrees aligns with the given measurement, as does the error of negative 1 degree, and the correction of 0 0.0014 degrees. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that I will read and respond to in future videos. If there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or maybe a problem that you need solved, Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.